Open Heavens on the Go, Thursday, June 13th, 2024. Topic, The Sword of the Spirit. Memory Verse, Hebrews 4.12. For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Bible reading Matthew 4 1 to 11. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taken him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil liveth him, and, behold, angels came and ministered unto him. The Message Today, I will be concluding my teaching on the full armor of God by looking at the last piece of armor. The sword of the Spirit is the only primary, primarily offensive weapon listed in Ephesians 6, 10-17. It is clearly a very important weapon that every soldier of Christ must have. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. In the spirit realm, battles are not fought with physical weapons, but with words. The most potent of all the weapons used in spiritual battles is the Word of God. The Word of God is a powerful sword in the mouth of a believer. With it, you can defeat any force in any realm. Hebrews 4.12 describes this sword as quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. This weapon is available to you for spiritual battles. When you know how to use this weapon, no force can withstand you. This is why you need to know the word of God for yourself and memorize it. Any Christian that does not study the Bible will be powerless in spiritual matters. When the devil tries to attack your health, counterattack him with 1 Peter 2.24 that says that you are healed by the stripes of Jesus. 
when he tries to attack your finances, tell him that the Lord will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Philippians 4.19 If he tries to come against your children, tell him that children are the heritage of the Lord, so he should get his hands off God's property. Psalm 127.3 the word of God is superior to any other word. So, when you present it concerning any case, the devil has no choice but to give in. If you present your own words to the devil in a spiritual battle, he can ignore whatever you have to say. However, he cannot ignore the word of God. Psalm 138 2 says, that God exalt his word above his name. Know the word of God and memorize it so that when you are faced with an adverse situation, you will have the weapons to use to conquer the devil. Don't suffer in the hands of the devil when you already have in your possession the sword of the spirit, a weapon that is guaranteed to defeat him at all times. Key point. Your Bible contains more power than you can imagine. Study it and use it to defeat the enemy. Bible reading in one year. Psalm 50 to 55. Him for today. Ancient words. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.